Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Swapna here. Hope you all are doing well. In this video, we will be doing yet another glass painting and this was based on my last poll's result. More than 160 of you guys voted and 51% of you wanted to see yet another glass painting. So here you go. But before getting started, if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe the channel for more interesting and unique arts and crafts. So let's start painting this gorgeous fantasy peacock. To begin with, I have already drawn the design on a paper. Now I am fixing the position of this OHP sheet using a masking tape. I am using a pale golden outliner from Peblo. I will definitely add the details in the description below. If you wish to get this design, please email me in the mentioned email in the description. If you are a beginner in glass painting, I would recommend you to watch few of my earlier glass painting videos. You can check out the glass painting playlist, I will add the link in the description. As I mentioned in my previous videos, the trick to get even lines is to apply uniform pressure in the tip of the glass liner. You can use any other glass liner of your choice according to the availability. Now the outlining is almost finished and I'll leave rest of the details for later. Once the outlining is completely finished, I'll let it dry thoroughly before starting to add the paints. I'm mostly using Pebio Vitriol paints for this painting. You can use any other brand of your choice according to the availability. I'm starting with adding crimson. In this design, since I have small portions to paint, I prefer using a toothpick rather than a brush. Now I am starting to use ultramarine blue in this neck portion of the peacock and few of the feather portion.
Next I am using a lighter blue shade which is Horizon Blue from the brand Camel. Since all these are solvent based paints, it is advised to paint in a well ventilated area or please make sure to use a respirator or a mask while painting. Next I am using King Blue from Camel Brand. And now I am starting to use Turquoise shade from Pebio Vitral for the rest of the portion. Now the painting of this peacock is finished and I wish to add this moon slightly on the upper side of the peacock. So I am again drawing the circular outline using Pebio liner. While the circular outline is getting dried, I am using Pebio golden shade to add few more details in the peacock forehead and feathers. Once the outliner is thoroughly dried, I am filling this circular portion using this golden shade from Pebio. I am using a normal cloth to wipe off these extra portions which have come out of the outliner. Now to add an extra blink to this golden portion, I am using a glitter medium from Pebio. This is basically like a transparent medium with glitter in it and this will dry transparent but it will leave the glitters on the paint. Now once the painting is almost dried I am using this liner to add few details according to my choice.
Now the painting of this peacock is completely finished and ideally let it dry overnight. I was under the impression that the painting is almost finished and I was all set to frame this one and then I realized that there is something missing in the painting and that was a really contrasting background. So I again decided to work a bit more on this painting. So that's when I added Prussian blue acrylic paint on the reverse side of this old sheet. I'm adding paint on the reverse side just to get a smooth visual effect on the front side. Since it's not a canvas, to get a smooth visual effect, I'm using a sponge to spread the paint. Let this dry thoroughly before flipping the side. Now this is how the front side of the painting now looks. And now I feel like adding bit more details on this darker shades. So for that I am using this golden liner and I am using freehand designs that will just add on like the feathers of the peacock. And now I'm thoroughly satisfied with this end result and I'm letting it dry thoroughly before keeping it in a frame. This is how the end result look with the gorgeous texture created by the golden liner. And once the painting is dried I'm adding a white square box frame for this painting. I hope you all enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please don't forget to like, comment and share this video with your friends. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and press that bell icon so that you will get notifications once I upload interesting and unique arts and crafts videos. Thank you so much for watching. Stay tuned guys.